there is, wherever God has predestined for me to go. I want you to know that, that he determined the end from the beginning. He said, let us cross over to the other side before they ever even started. He knew where he wanted to go. He knew where he wanted you to go before he formed you in your mama's belly. He knew what he had predestined for you to do before you ever took your first day at school and your mama walked you down to the bus station trying to make sure you had your pants on straight, your, your lunch money in your pocket or your, your lunch satchel. Before all of that stuff ever even started, he had predestined for you to go to a place. But in the process of getting there, storms arise. My daughter texts me and she said, one of the things that I admire about you is that you're never afraid to be a sophomore again. You know, she has a way of saying stuff that takes you into deep thought, a sophomore again, that you're not afraid to recreate yourself, that you're not afraid to be adventurous, that you're not afraid to be back at one again, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven is one again on the next level. 21 is one again on the next level. 31 is one again on the next level. 41 is one again on the next level. 51 is one again on the next level. 61 is one again on the next level. And some people don't grow because they're not willing to give up the 10 to be one again. And if you're not willing to give up the 10, you'll stay where you are for the prestige of having reached 10 and not willing to go back to one again, you fail to grow to what your capacity was meant to be because you don't want to be a sophomore once you've been a senior. You don't want to say, I don't know again. You don't, you, you don't want to do anything that's out of your comfort zone again. You, you, don't, you don't want to go into the unfamiliar again and you stop growing because you stop going. In order to keep growing, you have to keep going. Are you following what I'm saying? And you cannot love the prestige of 10 to the degree that you fail to come to 11. 11 puts you in a room with 20s. And some people can't stand to be in a room with 20s once they have reached 10. They'd rather be a big fish in a small pond than to swim into a bigger stream and be surrounded by whales and sharks and dolphins and all that kind of stuff. They like image more than reality. Speaking of fish, you know, I was, I was, I was reading this thing about, uh, uh, right now, salmon, and they were talking about how the polar bears are starving because we're eating up all their food. But before salmon was so popular, it used to be cod. And everybody was eating cod. And cod was on the East Coast. Don't worry, this doesn't sound like it has nothing to do with it, but it will in a minute. Cod was on the East Coast, and people on the East Coast were all eating cod. And, and back then, in order to get it to the West Coast, because the West Coast started wanting dishes that were made from cod, they had to put it on train. And it took a long time to get it from the East Coast to the West Coast. So what they did, they started putting the cod on ice. But by the time they got it to the West Coast and tried to cook it, it had lost its taste and its texture. And it wasn't fresh. So they said, I tell you what we'll do. We, we, we won't put it on ice. We'll leave them alive and we'll put them in big fish tanks and we'll send them on the train and they'll travel by train and then when they get them there they'll be fresh and they did that and when they got there and they got ready to cook the cod it still didn't taste right and the texture wasn't right 